Jonathan Arkin here with Napa Pat Latin's Luggett. Thanks for tuning in. So what I'm going to do now is talk about an acute pain versus a chronic pain and how they get treated differently by your therapist. So here we have a super happy, healthy, no pain fellow. Here we have a patient who's in acute pain, and here we have a patient who's in chronic pain. Now, if you watched our last video on chronic pain, I went through the intricacies of how it works. But now we're gonna talk about how do we know which type of patient you are and how to provide the correct type of care for you. So this one, this patient right here has an acute pain in his shoulder. If you can see the little, little lines there, I'm not an artist. So let's just take this patient and say that they had their shoulder dislocated. Well, so did this guy down here and both of them have pain in their shoulder now. Well, this guy's an acute, so I'll just write A next to his name, and this one is a chronic pain patient. So, if this shoulder is dislocated, all we do is we relocate it, we pop it back in, and you probably get that done at the hospital. And when that happens, we remove the little pain stars, and then suddenly, he's happy again, because the thing causing the pain is gone, so we're no longer sending those signals up to the brain and the brain no longer interprets a threat so you don't feel pain anymore. That's the type of patient who comes in, there's a problem, we correct it, it's done. Then we have the chronic pain patient. Now this is the type of patient when you come in, you might have a shoulder problem and your therapist might need a few times to treat it because the very first time he might have made the crack or may put the needle in and it might have felt better, but it didn't stay. So you left, the pain came back, and they had to treat it again. This is a chronic pain patient. So using our, our example of a dislocation of the shoulder, this patient had his dislocation fixed, but his pain still stays in the shoulder. Well, that's because of the way that chronic pain works, where the brain is too sensitive and it's making you feel pain even though you shouldn't. This is the type of patient who's gonna require multiple treatments over a certain amount of time to fix the chronic pain. Not because there's anything wrong with the shoulder anymore, but because the brain is now interpreting pain. If you didn't check out our last video on the way chronic pain works, make sure you do, and this will make a lot more sense to you. So with the acute, with the acute patient, we get rid of the little painful signal and they become a super happy patient really, really quick. With a chronic pain patient, we have to do other specific types of therapies, not necessarily for the shoulder, but to fix the way that the brain interprets pain. And this can include a multitude of different things and it can look a little strange. So instead of necessarily doing work on the shoulder specifically, we might do work with the patient's brain in order to fix their pain. And this works really, really well for a multitude of patients where they might come in with chronic pain in the shoulder or they might come in with a post-concussion headache or a migraine. It works really well when we treat it appropriately. We have to fix the chronicity of the pain, which is a brain-based issue, not the shoulder itself, which is just what's feeling the pain. All right, so this is the difference between an acute pain and a chronic pain patient, and this is kind of the different ways uh, we have of treating it. The acute pain patient, you pop the shoulder back in, they're good to go. The chronic pain patient, you have to do very specific brain treatments in order to get them to once again return to a normal threshold of pain so that they can live a long and happy, painless life. All right, thanks for tuning in. This is Jonathan Arkin with Napa Pat Lunge Legate.